In this video, I'll show you how to add the blur effect in Premiere Pro. Hi everyone, I'm the web guru and I do tutorials in video, audio, and photography. So uh, be sure to leave a comment and subscribe. And here inside of Premiere Pro, I already have a clip inside of the timeline. And it's a nice shot of a waterfall. And I would like to add a little bit of blur to it. Um, and that can be done from the effects panel. So if you're not able to see the effects panel, you can go up to the uh, window menu and then choose effects. And that will bring it up. Mine opened up over here. And then inside of the video effects folder, I'm going to open that up. And then there is a blur and sharpen folder. So I'm going to open that one up. You can see there are actually several different types of blur. Now the one that's the most common is called the uh, Gaussian Blur. And to add it to the clip, it's actually very simple. All you have to do is drag it and then drop it onto the clip inside of the timeline. Now initially you're not going to see a difference because we need to change the settings of the effect and you can do that in the Effect Controls panel. And if you're not able to find it, simply go up to the window menu again, but this time choose Effect Controls. And then mine opened up over here. If you have a lot of effects on the clip, you may have to scroll down a little bit. So I have to scroll down and then I can see the uh, Gaussian blur. Now right now the blurriness is set to zero, which means that it's not blurry at all. So I'm going to increase this and you might have to increase it to a, to a pretty high value in order to make the shot as blurry as you want. So I increased it to 50, but you'll have to experiment with that on your own shot. Now one thing I notice is that it creates kind of a dark border or like a vignette around the edge of the frame, which I don't like. And you can remove that by clicking on Repeat Edge Pixels and now that vignette has disappeared, so that's much better. Another setting we have is called Blur Dimensions, and the default is horizontal and vertical. If I change it to horizontal, it'll basically create blur along the horizontal axis. If I change it to vertical, it creates blur along the vertical axis, but I actually like it in this case to be horizontal and vertical, it's just kind of a nice general blur. Um, and now when I play my shot here in the timeline, you can see that the entire shot is blurry, which is fine if that's what you're looking for. But I would like to take this a step further. And what I want is I want it to start off blurry and then to kind of shift into focus. I think that would look really uh, interesting. So in order to do that, you can move the playhead to the beginning of the clip, make sure it's selected in the timeline. Then in the Effect Controls panel, right next to the word blurriness, there's a little button that looks like a stopwatch. That's the toggle animation button. When you click on that button, it actually creates something called a keyframe. And then I'm going to move ahead a couple of seconds. And then I'm going to set the blurriness amount back to zero. So that means no blur. And you can see that now the shot is in focus. And there are two keyframes here uh, that go from 50 to zero. And the effect that that creates is that the shot starts off blurry and it looks like it's out of focus. And then within a couple of seconds, it comes back into focus. So I think that looks really cool. And it's not that difficult to do here inside of Premiere Pro. So there you have it. That's like the quickest, simplest way to add blur to a shot inside of Premiere Pro. If you want to make it look as if the shot is moving in and out of focus, you can create keyframes. So uh, let me know if that works for you or if you have any uh, questions or comments. Uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel as I'll be producing uh, several more videos on this topic. And I will see you in the next video. In the meantime, keep learning and growing.